Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Zombies Ain't My Neighbours, or Zombies if you'd rather. I personally prefer the first one because of Zam, for one, being able to abbreviate that. But anyway, if you've never played the game before, it's basically a gauntlet style game. Um, so, not exactly everyone's cup of tea. I do, however, think it's much better than the original Gauntlet and even better than the other Gauntlet games, which I may or may not have reviewed. It totally depends on whether or not they're up by now, because I've recorded them by now, but I don't know if they're going to be up by now. So, if they are, check them out. Anyway, at the start, you've got Start Game and Password. Before I actually start the game, well, while I'm here, I might as well mention, you get two characters, both identical. There's literally no difference between them, other than what they look like. But anyway, I might as well mention why I'm uh, doing the review and why I need to also thank someone. Basically, Game Master 9413 or 9413, I don't know how he pronounces his numbers, I know I do mine differently to how people would expect, but I'll just say Gamey, seeing as that's how he's known by his mates. And he's a mate of mine after really helping us out. Basically, the VC version came out and it said it had 48 levels. Now, having the SNES original for a long, long time, the SNES original had 55 levels according to the box, but it actually had about 57, 58 when you included all the secret levels and that. So, when the VC version comes out and says it only has 48 levels, that kind of makes you think that we've got some sort of butchered version, because it's bad enough that we've already got the censored version, which means that we don't have Chainsaw Murderers, we have Axe Murderers. Personally, I prefer it, because I know of an Axe Murderer. Chainsaw Murderer, the only thing I've really heard of that is in uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but I've heard of more Axe Murderers than Chainsaw Murderers. So, anyway, we've got that version, and then when it came out and it said 48 levels, I was terrified, as I say, that we got a broken version, but we haven't. We have got the full version and he basically had bought the game I asked him a few questions I said basically do this do that to find out if these secret levels are on he'd done it straight away without like without any hesitance at all so really got to thank him for that so anyway on to the actual game first up there's about 57 58 levels as you didn't already know uh, and the whole point of the game is you have to rescue your neighbors there's 10 neighbors on I suppose each level is probably the way to see it, because basically you've got to rescue the ten neighbours. If a neighbour dies, he will stay dead. You can get neighbours back by beating a load of levels without losing any more neighbours, and to be fair, you still get the neighbours back even if you've lost more. But it basically means that the only way you're going to get ten neighbours on every level is if you're really good. There's also a secret eleventh neighbour on a level, which uh, you have to find him on a secret level, and it, he doesn't really do anything different, he's just there really. It's cool to find him though. And the whole point is, as I say, rescue your neighbours, go on to the next level, fight the enemies off, rescue the neighbours, fight the boss, rescue the neighbours. It's like that for the entire game. You get keys and that which can open doors and chests and you can get skeleton keys. You can get all sorts of items like med packs, you can get all sorts of weapons, even fire extinguishers, weed whackers, um, just loads of zany stuff. You can get like crosses and anks or whatever you'd call them and they're basically uh, more of a defensive item. You can get a Pandora's box style thing that'll break all hell loose. You can get a portion that turns you into a werewolf. And you can also use a radar which helps you find the, the uh, neighbour that you're missing. So, once you rescue the neighbours though, exit comes up, you go through the exit, and then, as I say, go to the next level. If you're playing co-op, which uh, the game does have a co-op mode, and I personally think it's got a very good co-op mode, if you're playing co-op, then whoever gets the most neighbours gets bonus points. You also get bonus points for saving all the victims, as you might have saw there. And basically the co-op, you don't get split screen or anything, so you've really got to work together. You can't just go out for yourself because you can get stuck behind things because of the fact that the camera doesn't zoom out. And it doesn't even do a little bit or anything to help you out. It really is a f totally fixed camera and you've therefore got to be on your guard the entire time and helping each other out. So it's a good idea to always be watching each other's back and just sharing items and sharing things like that. Because you do get limited ammo and... It's one of those, if you run out of ammo, you are totally screwed. There, there really is no other way to put it. You can beat the level still by collecting the neighbours, obviously, but there will be times that you will just need firepower and lots of it. So if you run out of firepower, you're totally done for. Which is why it's a shame that the password save, and it's a great thing that the VC saves on this, the password save doesn't save your ammo or anything. So if you've got four or five lives left and you switch it off, and you're actually wanting to beat the game, you're kind of incredibly stupid for doing that because you will lose all of your lives that you've gained extra, so you'll have the standard lives, you'll lose your ammo, you'll lose your weapons, everything like that, and it just means that all of a sudden the game that you were thinking, oh, this isn't quite hard, has turned into one of the hardest games you've ever played before in your life. Hmm. 
Well, I mentioned the werewolf, so I might as well show him off. He's really cool. He basically allows you to uh, be pretty much invincible. You can go around smashing open doors and cracks in walls and uh, secret areas in bushes and that. And you can smash open these areas with the bazooka as well, but obviously the werewolf's got infinite ammo, I suppose, from a certain point of view. He does run out, but it's the type of thing that you don't run out of punches, so you can just continue smacking everything open that you can do. So here we go then, the other technical level to prove that it really is on there because that's the other reason why people thought, well, why I thought myself anyway that the uh, f fact that it only had 40 le levels was true because I remember people saying that this was a very grey area with the licensing issues and it's the type of thing that people said if any levels were going to be cut this would be one of them. So this was my overall proof that the game was uncut, so glad for that anyway. Uh, Anyway, there really, as I say, there's nothing left to say. I just wanted to show this off. Graphically, the game looks fantastic, but now onto some of the music, which is even better. I absolutely love the, the game's music more than anything else, and I love the game anyway. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.